This is an example of a single step income statement for three years. We call it single step because we display all revenues in one basket and all expenses in another basket. Then we calculate profit or loss as the difference between all revenues and all expenses. In 2017, the company has revenues of $100 million and expenses of $90 million. So the company generates a profit of $10 million. In 2018, the company has revenues of $100 million and expenses of $99 million. So we have a profit of around $1 million. In 2019, the company has revenues of $100 million and expenses of $105 million. So we have a loss of $5 million. So what has happened over time? Well, the company has deteriorated over time as profits decrease. The reason behind the decline in profit is higher expenses over time, which is clear. But the problem with this single step income statement is that it does not show us what type of expenses have increased over time, such as cost of raw materials, wages, marketing expenses or interest expense. Therefore, we need to state expenses into different types of expenses for better analysis and then we can calculate profits at different levels. This is what we call the multi-step income statement. And we have five types of expenses in a company. Firstly, we have the cost of goods sold, also known as COGS, which refers to the cost of production in terms of raw materials and blue collar wages for workers who work on building machines, for example. Secondly, we have the selling, general and administrative expenses and this refers to white collar salaries, which are the salaries for paid employees who work in an office such as marketers or salespeople, administration staff, finance, accounting, etc. Thirdly, we have depreciation and amortization expense. And since firms use machines in the production process, the value of the machine decreases over time by a certain amount, which is called depreciation. Depreciation and amortization have the same definition. The only difference is, is that we use depreciation for tangible assets and amortization with intangible assets. Fourthly, we have interest expense. And when a firm gets a loan from the bank to finance its assets, it also needs to repay interest on that loan. Finally, we have taxes, which is once a firm generates profits, it needs to pay taxes to the government. Any manufacturing company must have the first three expenses for their operation. Therefore, we call the cost of goods sold, selling and general administration expense, as well as depreciation and amortization as operating expense. If a firm does not have debt, it does not have to pay interest. And sometimes firms do not pay taxes, as the government could provide investment incentives, such as paying zero tax if they create a project in a certain area. Consequently, the last two expenses are called non-operating expenses. So, in order to prepare the multi-step income statement, we need to deduct each expense from the company's sales or revenue. Now, let's discuss an example of the multi-step income statement. Our top line, or sales, is going to be $50 million. Then, we deduct the first level of expense, which is the cost of goods sold, of $30 million. This will give us the first level of profit, which is called gross profit of $20 million. And this is calculated as $50 million minus $30 million. Growth profit means the profit that a firm generates after paying off its cost of production. Then we deduct the second level of expense, which is the selling, general and administration expense. And this is $2 million. Then we deduct the third level of expense, which is depreciation and amortization of $10 million. This will give us the second level of profit, which is called earnings before interest and tax, or EBIT, of $8 million. And this is calculated as $20 million minus $2 million minus $10 million. Earnings means profit, so EBIT is our profit level before we pay the last two expenses, which are interest and taxes. EBIT is also called operating profit because this is the level of profit after we deduct the operating expenses of COGS, selling general administration expense, and depreciation and amortization expense. Then we deduct the fourth level of expense, which is the interest expense of $3 million. This will give us the third level of profit, which is called earnings before tax of $5 million, 
and this is calculated as 8 million minus 3 million. Earnings before tax is our profit level before we pay the last expense, which is tax. Finally, we deduct the fifth and final expense, which is the tax, at 30%, which means the tax rate is 30%. We calculate tax as tax rate times earning before tax. So the tax is 30% times 5 million, which is equal to $1.5 million. This will give us the fourth level of profit, which is called net income or net profit of $3.5 million, which is calculated as $5 million minus $1.5 million. Net income is the profit level after paying all expenses. Net income is the bottom line. Once a company generates profit, it has two options it can take. Firstly, the company can distribute cash to the owners, which is called dividends. For example, a company will distribute 25 cents for each share. So if you have a thousand shares, the company will give you cash of $250. Secondly, the company keeps the profit in the firm in order to expand and grow, and this is called retained earnings. Earnings means profit and retained means the company will keep the profit and not distribute it to the owners. In this example, if a company will distribute dividends of $2.5 million, returned earnings will be $1 million, which is $3.5 million minus $2.5 million.